Hello everyone, my name is Anjita Maharjan. I'm one of the tutors at Milestone Study. In this video, we are going to talk about active and passive voice. Let's get started. Let's start with active voice. Any sentence that shows that the subject is doing the work, that sentence is known as active voice. For example, let's look at a few examples. Uh, she goes to school. I gave a very simple sentence. She goes to school. When we say she goes to school, our subject, that is she, and the work is goes. So the going activity is carried out by her. So it's her who is doing the job. So this, so she has active participation in the activity. Right? So she goes to work. It's not anyone else who is taking her to the school. She goes to the school herself. Let's look at another sentence. I write letters. Again, simple, very simple, in simple, simple present. I write letters. When I say I write letter or somebody says I write letters, that means I, the subject and work that is writing work, okay, is being done by that person. So it's active. The subject has active participation in the activity that's being done, that is writing and going. Similarly, you can use sentences with other verbs. You can say dance, sing, write, walk, talk, you know, think, love. So there are so many activities that can be performed. So whenever the subject is doing the job, we will say that it is an active voice. Let's take a few examples of passive voice. In any sentence where we see that the subject does not do the work and somebody else is doing the job, we say the sentence is in passive voice. Let's take an example. A car is repaired. If we say a car is repaired, where a car is our subject here, repaired is the verb that's being done. So can we say that the car is repairing? So can a car or car, the subject, can do the job of repairing or repairment? Okay, obviously it cannot. Okay, so here we have to know, all right, this is passive voice. Like, here we have to use passive because the car cannot repair. Okay, so for passive, we are going to use is, R, M, and V3 for passive. Okay, let's take another example. My friends are invited to the party. Okay, here my friends their subject, invitation, invite is the verb, okay? But here, my friends are not inviting. So they're not in active, they're not actively participating in the activity of inviting. They are in fact being invited by somebody else. Maybe I have invited them, okay? So I'm telling my parents that, um, like mom and dad, my friends are invited to the party, means I have invited them. So I am in an active voice, but my friends, they are not inviting themselves. They are getting the invitation from me. So they are in passive. And here I have used R plus V3. That is R invited. Now it's time for you to do the task. Uh, all you have to do is think about a sentence in active voice and passive voice. Think about a verb. Write a sentence in active and passive in the comment section below. I'll check how well you have written. And if it is all good, you'll get a thumbs up in your comment. So go and comment down below. So to sum up everything that we have done so far, active voice, when we look at active voice, we have to understand that the subject does the work. When it is passive voice, the subject is not doing the work. In fact, somebody else is doing the work. The examples that we've done so far are examples of simple present tense. Let's do it in past tense and future tense. We'll also look at perfect tense too. Let's get started. I have a few examples here of simple past. So for active voice, we have Rojit slept on the couch. So Rojit, the subject, slept on the couch. So he has already done, like he is sleeping, he's there. He slept there. So Rojit slept on the couch. In plural, I have people started to return to their home. People started, so this is V2, uh, V2 started and slept as well is V2. So Rojit slept, 
people started. So they are in simple past, but these are all activities performed by the subject. That is, Rojit slept, like he did this activity. People started to go. So people, like the people, the subject have started doing this. So they, it's people started. For past simple passive, the formula is the same. In the simple present, we said is R M V3. Here we have used was were plus V3. So the thief was caught. The thief wouldn't catch itself. Like he wouldn't go and surrender. Okay, like will this uh, person please uh, arrest me? He wouldn't do that. So he was caught by somebody. Okay. Now we do not mention who has caught this thief because in passive voice, the activity being done is more important than who did the task. So by him, by her, by police, or by the detective, by you know the president. So these are not important. That's why we don't mention the name. But the task that is caught, being caught, that is main important. That is why the answer is the thief was caught. And the same for plural. They were called for an inspection. They were called. They wouldn't call themselves. Somebody else called them. Let's take a look at future tense. For future simple in active voice, we have, we will watch a movie, which means the activity will happen in the future. Siri will answer all your questions, means Siri, the subject is going to answer or will answer all the questions. So she's going to do this actively. For passive, we will just use be in the middle of will and the verb. So the sentence will be, the criminals will be put behind the bars. So here, put is V3, right? And will will be like, it's for future. And B has come in place of is, R, M, was, where. The reports will be delivered, means the reports will be delivered by somebody. And the criminals will be put behind the bars by somebody. So the criminals are not going to go behind the bars themselves. Somebody else, are, like they're going to catch them. They're going to put them behind the bars and the same is going to happen with the reports. Now, with this simple future, past and present, I hope it's clear for you to when to use active and how to use passive, how to use active and how to use passive. Let's dive into perfect tense. Whenever we talk about perfect tense, has, have, had and V3, they're evident. They're always there. Okay, let's start with has and have. Uh, has and have both are used in present perfect tense, but the formula is the same, like we'll still use V3. So for active voice, let's look at some examples. Before starting this perfect tense, if you want to know about has, have, had in detail, uh, we've already made a detailed video on has, have, had. So please, you can go ahead and watch that video. Pause it here, watch that video, come back and you can go through these active and passive voice sentences. Let's take a look at active now. For active voice, we have two sentences here. The first sentence is, Ravan has kidnapped Sita. Okay, and this is like truth. Okay, we, we all know that Ravan kidnapped Sita. So when we say Ravan has kidnapped Sita, that is in active voice because Ravan did the job. Ravan kidnapped her. He took her to his palace and then, you know, kept her there. Next sentence, Susie and Dave have bought a new house. So they bought a new house. Okay, means they actually, they paid for the house, they got the house, they signed the paper. So they did the job. Okay, it's not others who did, who bought the house, they bought the house. The next sentence we have is in passive. Sita has been kidnapped. It goes both way, guys. If Ravan kidnapped Sita, Ravan did the job, but Sita did not kidnap herself. She got kidnapped. So what do we need to say? Sita has been kidnapped. So we have to say Sita, somebody took Sita away. So Sita has been kidnapped. The second sentence is you have been tricked. Means somebody tricked you. Somebody made a fool out of you. So you have been tricked. It's not me who will trick myself. Somebody else will trick me. So I am getting tricked. Somebody else did that. So the sentence in passive will be you have been tricked. Okay, let's see if we can make sentences in had. For had, we have a very simple sentence. Tina had made a mistake. So Tina made a mistake. So she had made a mistake. That's an active. All the garbage had been thrown. Means this is in passive. Because Tina, the subject, is has, she has made a mistake. So that's an active because she did it. 
all the garbage had had been thrown means somebody else threw the garbage or the garbage wouldn't go and throw itself so somebody else would do that job so that is in passive this is how we can make the sentences in active and passive as well let's look at continuous tense how we can make sentences in continuous okay and i also have a quiz at the end so stay tuned be there for future continuous, we have is, are, am, was, were, plus verb ing for uh, present and past. For future, we will be using will be plus verb ing. I have a few examples here with me for present continuous, past continuous, and future continuous in both active and passive. So let's take a closer look. In the first sentence, we have she is taking a look at the new project report. So which means she is doing the job. This job is being carried out right now. Okay, so as we're talking, she's doing it. So she is ing. So taking ing. She is taking a look at the new project. We are packing our bags for the trip. So we are packing. This is in plural, but in continuous form, present continuous. That is, we are packing our bags. So we have active participles. So we are doing the job. So this is an active. For passive, present passive, we have they are being taken to the principal's office. So no one would want to go to the principal's office themselves. Somebody asked for them. So somebody said, come, the principal has called you. So that means they are being taken. So somebody is taking them to the principal's office. They are being taken to the principal's office. Iris is being scolded. Means somebody is scolding Iris. So Iris, our subject, is getting the scold. So she is getting, she, she got, like somebody is scolding her. For past active, we have, he was eating his breakfast. So in the past, he was doing the job. So he was doing the job of eating. So he was eating his breakfast. Students were making noise. So in the past, students were making noise. So they were doing the job. So this is an active. For passive, we have some different sentences. New employees were being promoted, which means the employees who came new, they got promotion. So they wouldn't promote themselves. The boss, the employer will promote them. So they were being promoted. The building was being destroyed. Definitely the building wouldn't destroy itself. The builders or the destroy the vehicles or some big machines, people are going to destroy the building. But the building got destroyed. So the building was being destroyed. For future active, we have they will be getting married. They will be getting married. So for will, we always need V1. And for continuous, we require ING. So a mixture of both, we will have, they will be getting married. For a second, we have, my mother will be cleaning the house. My mother, she will be cleaning the house. So this is in the future. Like It's not like she's doing it now. But in the future, maybe when you get home, you see where is your mother. Oh, mother is cleaning the house. So you're talking about something that is going to happen in the future. So, oh, mother will be cleaning the house. For future passive, this is not widely used or you'll never see people use this form of sentences in a future passive. But for an example, I have a sentence here. The game will be being played. Okay. This type of sentences is not widely used. So you'll never maybe see uh, this sentence being used other than here. But for your concept, the sentence will be, the game will be being played, which means the game will be played by somebody. The game will not play itself. Okay, so this is in future. So that was it, guys, for passive and active voice. So we have covered simple present, simple past, simple future. We've also done continuous and perfect tense for all the tenses. Now it's time for the quiz. I'll put the question on the screen. All you need to do is ask the questions, get your scores. First sentence will have one mark. And at the end of the quiz, comment down below how much you've scored. All the best for this one. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys gained some insight into today's topic that is active and passive voice. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share with your friends, and of course, subscribe to our channel to watch more such videos. Also, comment which topic you'd like us to cover next. Thank you for all your support. See you in the next video. Bye bye.